Hey guys, new day, another dime. Well, this morning someone wanted to go with me. She was adamant about it. Uh, we got Mia. Mia. We got Mia with us today. In there, right, babies. Look. Yeah, we got Mia with us today. She wanted to go. I think she's regretting it now. But she uh, she was adamant about getting in the truck this morning. So we'll see what happens. But we're doing something new today. We got uh, DDGs. Don't ask me what that stands for, but it's like uh, grains or corn squeezins from ethanol. It. Uh, I, from what I understand, this stuff is the dry mix, not the wet cake. So that's good. So it should come out a little easier. Um, a little nervous about it. I've never done this stuff before and I'm going out of state. I'm going to Fremont, Nebraska. So this should be a good adventure. Um, I will put you guys on the stand so you can see some of the driving and that's just about all I have for today so far. Just, uh, it is a little nervous, or I'm a little nervous, and, but I do got a new rider with me. So, all right, talk to you guys later. Well, what's up, guys? I am here in Fremont, Nebraska. He is on the bed with me. Ah, ah. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm here at Fremont, Nebraska. They're not taking the load till tomorrow. So I got stuck out here with two doggos. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but it, I would have stayed home had I known it. Uh, wasn't going to be able to be delivered till tomorrow but me and the doggos are camping out in the semi and we just had lunch all right Abby we just have lunch <laughs> so yeah we're just laying in bed watching some YouTubes probably catch a couple Z's here in about 10 hours <laughs> that's uh, one o'clock right now so we got 10 hours to waste until we can uh or whenever i get to sleep i guess but they're not they don't open till seven so i got to waste some time so i'm gonna mess around the ipad Probably go get supper here uh, in about a couple hours. And then we'll go to sleep. And get up and deliver that and go back. And pick up a, another load of, from Gofield. And I'm not leaving until Wednesday because they. Well, yeah, I'll, go, I'll drive home. It'll be four hours home. Load go to my house sleep wake up and come back because then Thursday I have a, a a dentist appointment so that's what's going on now so we're just kind of stuck here in Fremont where that sap grows you guys can't see that we're at the sap brothers uh, rest area here in Fremont so other than that, that's all that's going on. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. Still in Fremont, Nebraska. Uh, been sitting in line for an hour and a half now. Trying to get in. Today just started off terribly for me. I woke up and from a terrible night's sleep. Uh, two dogs and one mattress and one big guy. Does not mix. Yeah. 
nope, those things do not mix very well. Um, we tossed and turned all night. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of tired. Can I see it in my eyes? Uh, but I woke up and I noticed my semi was low on fuel. I was like, what in the heck? I was like, I went to bed and I had half a tank or, you know, enough to get back to Gofield at least, or at least in, to park it at Thor. I had enough fuel to, to get that far, but overnight it burnt it all. So I don't know how a truck burns 300 miles worth of fuel. Cause that's over 60 gallons. It's a lot of fuel to burn for 10 hours. I don't, but it did. So I had to come up with a, uh, luckily I had a, a different um, fuel card, mud flap. Um, I don't have any other charge cards other than that mud flap and, and then uh, I have local gas station cards so luckily I did have that got fueled up put some death in because I was empty on that for some reason too and then we came over here my Bluetooth wasn't hooking up yeah it was just a mess of a morning so the dogs didn't get to go to the bathroom right away in the morning. So I just let them out. But like I said, we've been sitting here for an hour and a half. And the line hasn't budged. So this is kind of scary. Um, not very cool. I might have to shut my truck off here soon. Just because I don't want to be burning that much fuel again. I'll keep doing this out-of-state stuff or not because right now it's not looking very up because I only made $644 on this trip roughly minus my fuel cost so I made 200 bucks and I stayed overnight so I'm a little I'm still a little uh, irritated this morning um, I'm slowly cal calming down slowly and like I said I had to spend the night. I wasn't prepared to spend the night. I didn't have my pills. I didn't have any deodorant. Change clothes, socks, underwear. Deod I, mean, I can't even brush my teeth. I didn't, I didn't bring anything because I wasn't expecting to be here overnight. So uh, they can have this out of state stuff. If I wanted to do out of state stuff, I'll go flatbed route something that pays a little better $644 for all this is not worth it I, I think I screwed myself on this week but it is what it is you live and you learn I had to try it out and I did uh, I don't mind it if it paid better I'd be even better but it's, it didn't So that's all I got for now. Um, I might come back on a little later. I don't know. I might show you the process of what goes on. I have, cause I don't know. I have never hauled this stuff before. I don't know how it's gonna pack in. But if we've been sitting here for an hour and a half, I'm guessing that it packs pretty good. So that's all I have for now. update been sitting here for three hours now three and a half uh, she is not impressed yeah am I this is uh, getting a bit ridiculous but I will say that the dispatch I emailed them 
and he said he's gonna go after uh, detention pay so hopefully since they didn't take it yesterday they can backtrack all that and give me all that time back and I was talking to a guy up front and he was saying something about how they can pay 50 to 150 dollars an hour uh, for detention pay so if they well even for sitting for three hours so far you know that's what four hundred and fifty dollars so far just in sitting if they charge at the $150 rate if it's at the $50 rate and I'm sitting at well, $150 but either way hopefully I get some detention pay if they backtrack all the way to yesterday when I got here at what noon 11 o'clock noon ish then I'd be sitting on some nice money but I doubt they do that that's That'd be nice, but I doubt it. I'm a little skeptical about that. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm, I don't know, three, four, five semis back. I'm the last semi in line. And I was, I was here at 7 o'clock, so... Uh, it, uh, I don't know. So I turned down the next load coming out here. Just because I can't afford to just sit around. Uh, I told my dispatch for Gold Eagle to put me back on for tomorrow. And then I'll take Thursday off, then I'll go back on Friday. But I'll keep my eye open for other loads like this. Not like this, but out of state. But this kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Um, I don't know if I'll, I'll do it again or not, but it is what it is. That's my saying. It is what it is. Just like in the army, hurry up and wait. Just like the army. I have done a lot of waiting in my life. So this is nothing new. It's just that I'm not getting really unless I get detention pay I'm not really getting paid for sitting so and I'm burning more fuel than than what's coming in so hopefully I get I do get that detention pay but once I get up there from oh another thing is is that from what I hear we are unloading into these connex boxes these boxes here we are unloading into those, so um, that's what's taking a long time, I guess. And it's DDGs, and that stuff takes forever. But I guess I don't unload it; they do. So, good luck, guys. All right, that's all I got for now. Talk to you guys later. Bye. What's up guys it is almost four o'clock I just got out of there so I sat around for what's that almost 11 hours no that's not right for close yeah yep that was a waste of time so hopefully they can reimburse me some time some money that'd be great because as of right now I'm gonna get home at seven o'clock and I should have gone home, home yesterday at seven o'clock but yeah what a what a cluster that was I don't normally complain about much many things but that was bad that was real bad so Oh, I went through in my first uh, scale house. That was nerve-wracking because I didn't have my ELD lo all loaded up. So I was just tired now, or not really tired, but I was just fed up and I wanted to go and I really forgot all about it that I had to do that. But 
Yeah, we're on the way home now. We're in Nebraska still. Looks a lot like Iowa, but less cool. Their dirt is really uh, clay, sandy. It's not like the black stuff we got in Iowa. Sioux City. Gonna get on uh, Highway 20 and then truck it home. Oh, dang. It's a big feedlot. There's a big feedlot over there. You guys can't really see that, but over there, the feedlot. That's massive. That's a massive feedlot. Yeah, it's kind of a. It's kind of cool all, all these hills. It'd be interesting. Man, that dirt is not black at all. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but that is not black dirt. That's weird. Alright, well, I'll talk to you later.